Sharing knowledge is um, a key component of our work. Uh, as we work with our, our partners, we notice that they have similar needs or they have needs for knowledge which we don't readily have in that municipality, in that province or even in the country. So we would design an exchange or a study tour where you can go and gain the knowledge somewhere else where someone has implemented something successfully. Peer-to-peer -peer learning matters to the citizens because it gives us the ability to empower ourselves in understanding what are the trends. Where you share ideas, you share best practices, lessons learned, and also um, plat it's a platform where we talk about whether I have overcome a challenge already, so why do I need to reinvent the wheel? They started sharing their plans with each other and say, from your perspective, how does my plan look? Working with GIZ, we have been able to undertake study tours. One significant one was in KZN, where we went to the Etekwini local municipality and Umkungundovo municipality. The call centre that we have today uh, is based on what the city of Etekwini is doing. They have an exciting call centre, uh, recognised nationally and internationally. We learned that you can actually create a WhatsApp where your citizens would talk to you as a municipality. Also Umkungundlov, which is equally a rural municipality, we learned more on word-based communication, the tactics that the communications unit of that municipality uses to engage with the citizens at a word level, something that we as the district municipality has never undertaken. What was nice about the peer learning uh, 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 in the city of Etequini was, it was that we had a lot of similarities. For instance, uh, they have uh, customers who are sitting or who are residing in squatter camps. So we shared a lot of ideas on how best we can service uh, uh, such customers and we improved from there. I once attended a peer learning at um, Peguini in the Eastern Cape. Uh, what I learned about the city of Cape Town when they were experiencing the drought uh, period, they were able to restrict everyone implementing their bylaws and that was communicated to all the consumers and they were aware of what is going on and why they have to save water. We would want to implement that here because we are in a drought stricken region and also we have a lot of indigent people that uh, do not have money to repair their leaking tips, tabs. In 2019, we took officials from six medium-sized South African cities on a learning journey to Germany to explore how Germany does integrated urban development. They visited different cities. They went to Berlin, Leipzig, Halle and Stuttgart. They spoke to mayors and town planners and other officials and learned about the challenges German cities have to, for example, provide affordable housing and their visions to overcome these challenges. Some of the discussions were eye-opening for both sides, for the German and the South African partners. We actually have started as a municipality to implement all, if not all, most of the things that we learned from Germany. One biggest challenge we have currently as a municipality is that our infrastructure is aged and we have a lot of hiccups in terms of service delivery. What the German uh, government are doing is that they, they actually do plan for long term in terms of infrastructure development. This is the initiative that currently we want to embark on and we believe we can do better. To put into action in, in our municipality that we learned from Germany is basically um, around the integration of uh, transport system. In most of the cities, they've got different modes of transport that are integrated in one road, I mean road network. They've got a provision for trams, they've got provision for buses, they've got provision for private vehicles, they've got provision for bicycles, their bicycle lanes, and then and also individual uh, a, a motorist in the same uh, integrated transport network. So I think that is something that we can take home and see where, where, how we can implement in our different municipalities in South Africa. 
I attended the water college camp, which was organized by GIZ, wherein we were able to interact with various stakeholders within the water sector, in particular, being able to have a discussion with Raymond Mklaba local municipality, which is one of our local municipalities. And what we came out with is having a interactive dialogue with the local municipality in terms of provision of water within that space. It created um, an opportunity for us to dispel any misconceptions that we might have had between the district municipality's ability to provide water and also the ability of the local municipality of wanting to implement the function in itself. At the IDP community of practice, we were able as a district municipality to present our long-term planning as a case study that then afforded an opportunity for us to be able to engage with, for example, Steve Trait, a local municipality in terms of their strategy as well. The impact on the men on the street is that they are going to get an improved service from the Christian Literacy Municipality. Uh, we want to learn from the best and improve from there and better serve our communities. So peer-to-peer -peer makes it possible to understand what is it that practices that are, going, um, are currently being implemented out there and how is it that we can take those practices to make our systems more efficient and more effective. At the end of the day, it is about how we deliver then those services. Yes, there may not be water coming out of the tap, but we may be able to learn another technology, another methodology, another approach from a municipality on how is it that we can improve on that. That's why it's important. <music>